The thought of uh, 10,000 volts is more psychological than physical. A lot of people don't actually think that, that it's real. You've got to go through, and when you go through, you're going to get shocked. We got about 1,000 wires, there's 500 pounds of wood, about 20 feet wide and about 40 to 50 feet long. It takes three to four guys to work on it. Sometimes we'll run it with uh, multiple controllers, depending on the ground conditions underneath, to um, ensure that we empower all the wires evenly, as with any electrical device. When you short it out, the current has to go somewhere, and in this case, it goes into your body. It's very interesting to see the different uh, ways that people will try to get through it. You usually see people maybe 10 feet out, maybe take a moment to uh, collect themselves mentally, get themselves psyched up, and then just attack it. Some people will just try to just run through as fast as they can. You see other people crawling through. You see some people kind of trying to dodge all the wires. The thing that I think is so cool about this is it's kind of the great equalizer on the course. Um, so many of our obstacles really favor the kind of the burly, strong man, but he's actually the one who gets hurt the most by this one. He's got a lot more body surface area. And a lot of people go through as a team. Rather than go through by yourself and suffer alone, you're sort of taking it on together as a group. And I think that's really what Tough Mudder is all about. On the other side, you see the beer and you see your orange headband, and it's, it's waiting for you at the finish, and it gets you through it. That's kind of the one where you're like, whoa, are these people crazy? And you're a little nervous because people were, you saw people kind of going down, getting shocked. So I got like three of them right across the chest right away. It knocked me straight on my ass. And I got tagged on my calf and went down hard. Just kind of did the five and leave. Just put the arms over the head. And then once you got to the end, there was pretty much a wire hanging down every six inches. So it was a guarantee that you were going to get shocked. Just run through it, power through it. You know, you can't be scared of it. Just for future reference, you feel it in your nuts. Just wanted you guys to know that. Can't wait to do it again.